find most of my inspiration is from myself. I'm more of a traditional person when it comes to art. I like black and white a lot. I'm really inspired by human nature, meaning like the things that people do and how they react to their environment, to others. I pull my inspiration from anywhere. When I listen to music, I see colors. When I was growing up, my brother would draw, my uncle Kurt would draw. Miss Singh like, gives me ideas, and she's my inspiration too, and my motivation. She challenges me a lot. I look at art as my life. It starts with a blank canvas, and I put paint on everything, and it makes a beautiful work of art. shows that I can get through things like this. Other people can look at this and say, wow, he loves himself. I want people to look at my art and actually relate to it and actually appreciate what, what they are. Sometimes you can look in the, when you're in the middle of your process and you don't think it's gonna be that great, but I always like to continue going through with it because I always like to finish my ideas. And I have so many of them and that's very important to me. I get lost in it, and it's definitely something, not as an escape, but it takes me somewhere else. I try to be as creative as possible. I like to think that I'm a free spirit, and, <laughs> and I just, I go with the flow. is capturing life in a split second. Something that someone else can look back on and remember how they felt in that moment. I wanted to make it pop and be different from my other artwork. Put a little quote in there, see if anybody will find it. <laughs> do what you love and love what you do. I like looking at sunsets, so to actually master that, it was really cool. You should start to like step out your box and take new things into consideration. Sometimes you might like it. But when I actually just calm down and focus, I do it out of meditation. I just put calm music and I just love it. I zone out for hours. I just want to show that everyone is beautiful. I want to go into things like animation, um, prop making, and music as well. So art will be a huge thing that impacts my life. I will always be an artist, no matter if I'm, I'm 17 or if I'm 77. It doesn't matter. I see myself going to art school in a couple months, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I want to become a commercial photographer, open up my own studio, do boards across the world. It's my dream. It's not many black African-Americans doing architecture, so 
I actually like architecture, so I really want to do that. Well, I want to be an art teacher, and I want to teach like young visionaries and inspire them to create whatever they want and put a message out there through art.